Hi, Ben here with Visual Dev FM, and I wanted to show you how you could add a great looking zoom transition to your Webflow blog project. So, if you've ever been on Medium, you'll notice they have um, this sort of, of polish or feature on their images. So, when you see an image, and it's every image in the post, if you hover over it, you get a magnifying glass, and then if you click on it, it zooms all the way in, and we don't see the article anymore. And then if you scroll up, scroll down, or simply click again, it, it uh, you know, shrinks back down to where it belongs. And it's a really slick looking, um, looking transition and a nice little piece to add into your blog. So how can we add this to our Webflow blog? Well, um, so what I did is I took these files that you'll need and I put them in what we call a gist from GitHub. And I've got a link to that in this video, but essentially, you can copy this top code and go to your blog post page, your template post page. So I'm here on my blog post collection template page. And in the head section, I'm just going to paste in that code. And then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to grab these last two lines of code. I'm going to copy those and I'm going to paste those here in the before body tag section. So now if I save that and on my rich text block if I have it selected and I come down here to the custom attributes you can then hit the plus button and we're gonna add a custom attribute here. So you'll have to have um, a custom attribute added. So we added the the code in and you also are gonna need to add in um, data action. So data dash action and then we're going to say zoom and just save that. And then now we can publish this. So we're going to save it, and publish this page, publish the site. And then I'm going to refresh the page here. You'll notice that now on my Webflow project blog, I'm getting the same thing. I get this, you know, magnifying glass with the plus and I can click on an image. I can scroll and it will go back in place or I can click and it goes back and this will work in any image you insert into rich text and so if you want to float it left or right or have it span or however you want to do it but if people hover over it they click it it's going to zoom in so if you're wanting people to be able to get more detail uh, from images or be able to really see those images that you're you're posting because they're um, you know maybe they have a lot of tiny details or maybe it's just really great imagery that you spent time taking you know these great photos you want people to kind of be able to zoom in and study them more this will allow you to have that and it's just a nice slick little transition that will just kind of make your blog so much better um, you know it's a little detail but it, it uh, you know it's the little things that make all the difference whenever you're trying to make something look very polished so um, this is how you include zoom.js um, into your Webflow project. Hopefully uh, this has been helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to hit us up at Visual Dev FM on Twitter or Instagram or on Facebook. Or you can hit me up at Riley Richter. Um, we'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. Thanks.